All right, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I am going over another thing that I did with the sauna. And I had it 100% Alexa operated, but now I have it 100% digitally Alexa operated. And I'll explain that in a minute. Basically what I did is I got a, a sauna off controller unit it's a th116 i'll put the links below and my camera's freaking out a little bit but anyway basically how i how i wired this was that you have the two black wires coming in for power then you have your your input wire and then you have your output wire so basically this is what your power coming in and off to your relay is going to be going off to and I have it powered by a relay so this sawn off controller is controlled by Alexa so basically what I have set up is I have still getting used to this little camera thing so basically I have the power coming in basically off a, uh, a 20 amp extension cord that comes in this purple wire actually feeds the the unit itself so from here you can see the purple wire splits out into your black and your white and then off this side the black wire comes off the sawn off controller goes to your 110 side of your relay then you have your white wire which comes out of the the output line to your relay so your output is what's going to actually be turning your re relay on and off, okay? And then your power is fed by a black wire coming off the sawn off controller, going to one side of your relay. Then the output wire, which is going to this side of your relay. And then on the other side, basically you have your white wire that feeds all your heating elements. And then you have your black wire also feeding all your heating elements on this side. And you can tell this has two black wires coming off of it because I have them split up in pairs. One, two, and then three, four. So if you can kind of follow that. And if you have a sauna, I'm sure yours is probably similar. So pretty easy. And then also coming off this extension cord, I have a 12 volt relay. Actually, I shouldn't say 12 volt relay, the 12 volt transformer. And what that does is that powers my harsh stereo that I have hooked up to this. So I have speakers inside. Oh, and that is the old controller that no longer works. So I put a car stereo in here as well as I have speakers on either side of the unit. So you got stereo sound in there. And anyway, kind of review real quick. I got the Sonoff TH-116 controller. And then I have a relay. I'll put the links to, to everything. Uh, man, this camera is a little difficult to control. But anyway, that's your, your old board that's probably more likely dead. As well as this controller is dead. And we're replacing it with just a 20 amp extension cord. And then that purple wire runs through into the old control box. And then that wire gets split to, you got your two black wires. One's coming in, one's going out, and that's gonna power one side of your relay. With power, the output is gonna be your white, which powers the other side of your relay. And then once your relay is engaged by one of the black wires that goes to this side of the relay and then your output your input wire uh, rather I'm sorry your output wire comes out and then that comes to the other side of the relay that generates what pulls the, the contact together that lets the voltage flow to your whole sauna unit so hopefully that ends some of the confusion on how that works. And it works pretty flawlessly too. So let me step down and take a step back. Just 
step back a little bit. Alexa, turn sauna on. So you can see that how that clicked on. You can hear how the contact up here clicked. So you really won't be able to visually see it other than hearing it, but you can see how that's automatically on. So it's automatically generating heat to everything. And I'm going to obviously make this more of a permanent position, but I figure I kept it untied so it's easy to follow everything. But Alexa, turn sauna off. All right, so see how it basically turns off, kills the power to this unit, and it kills the, the power, obviously, to the relay once this unit shuts off. And I'll put up a couple screenshots of how you want your controller to work and the software that they provide for you. But other than that, that is how you create a 100% digitally operated Alexa-controlled sauna. Hopefully, you guys found that helpful. Feel free to put any comments or questions that you may have. But uh, once again, this is my studio, Garage Mahal. And I appreciate everybody for checking in. And then off the sauna, back here, you can see that. That's going to be the thermostat control that goes down inside the sauna itself. So I put that little relay inside the sauna. I put that little relay up here so you can see that. So that's what's going to control the temperature and humidity. He so use his old controller. It's kind of like a secondary backup, but I'll explain that a little bit further. When you see on top, and while we're down here, let me show you. So on the wall, I have a temporary hookup of. Yeah, move this out of the way. So right here is the the main controller that I've hooked up to Alexa and that's a I'm not sure how you pronounce it at the city controller and that's a 20 amp controller this is a 20 amp outlet that I've set up here and basically this is what turns on the main part of the sauna it's going to give you the control the power cord runs up up through there And then turns on this controller. So what we'll do Alexa turn sauna on. Okay, so you can see how the sauna of TH16 I was set in the app to automatically turn on when that controller goes on. And I'll show you how I programmed that. And that's the EWE link here. And when you go into it, it's basically, it's going to show you the temp gauge, which is what we had hooked up. If you click on that, you can see how it's set to auto. And I have it 32 degrees. Obviously, it turns on higher, and then it turns off at 120 degrees Fahrenheit is when it turns off. So hopefully, you guys can kind of like see that. Let's see if I can take a screenshot or two and post that into the video. And that basically, that's basically it. And if you want to set it to manual, you turn on the manual and hit that and that turns it off. See how the red light come, comes off? So we turn that on and it turns it back on. But I like to set it on automatic. And then here it's going to give you your 120, 32, confirm. So that's on, 32 degrees. Turns off at 120. So basically, whatever the ambient temperature is, I say confirm, and then that basically sets it. And if you want to set up your different variables, go to settings. 
And then this is where I have power on state turns turn on. You can also have that set to off, but by default, I want to basically tell Alexa to turn it on, and then it's going to turn on automatically and start heating, and the elements start drawing heat. So, get the heat gun, and it should work through the glass, but it's about 60 degrees in here. you can see on the elements so they all have power to them they're all pumping pretty good heat that one on that side that one on that side so all the elements are are definitely heating up so and then back up here so, Alexa, turn sauna off. So, boom, and there you go. Automatically turns everything off. And some of the other wiring that I have up here is basically coming off that, that 20 amp extension cord. I have a 12 volt DC power supply because that runs down in here and that basically powers the, uh, you know, a little dusty from pulling everything apart. But that powers the car stereo that I have hooked up to this system. And I have two speakers back here. Oh, and here is the old controller that I used to use. I found this one to be pretty unreliable. But anyway, I have it all replaced. So coming off the wall, we have a voice activated Alexa switch <clears throat> that runs up and it powers this 20 amp cord. Off of that, I have the purple line that runs into the, the Sonoff TH16 and then these are your your black line one's basically your input and then the other one's going to be your output to the to your relay the outside of the relay and then again you have your your white power in is your input coming off the purple line you got your L which is be your other white line that comes onto the other side of the relay and then I have the white power, which is basically uh, your positive side, comes off your extension cord, loop that around, comes through this unit, switches over, and then it provides power to that whole bottom row. Then you have your black line coming off your power extension cord on this relay. And then it comes off the relay and then it runs through this black circuit and then this other set of heating elements I have the other black line down here at the bottom so that's how you hook up your your relay and everything else is pretty simple uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask me but that is how you make your sauna 100% Alexa controlled hopefully that helps everybody out there if you have any questions please feel free to uh, send, put any comments below, and if you want to share any pictures, you're having problems with it, please uh, feel free to get in contact with me. All right, Brian from Garage Mahal. Thank you for watching the video, liking, and subscribing. Have a great day.